Okay, platformers. The only one I did well on was uh, Dust and Lazy and Tail, and that was even on a lower difficulty. But uh, anyways, uh, this is Throwback Thursday, and I'm Jared. Uh, today's classic is Contra Hardcore, um, released by Konami in, uh, on August 8th, uh, 1994 in the US, and later dates in Japan and Europe. Uh, for the Sega Genesis, Contra Hardcore was the sixth entry into the Contra series. Uh, the so-called plot is, uh, in 2641, an elite team of commandos called the Unified Military Special Mobile Task Force K-X, also known as Contra Hardcore, uh, was, <laughs> has been assembled to uh, combat a rapid spread of crime and illegal activities following the war. Uh, when an unknown hacker infiltrates the city's security system and reprint programs a group of unmanned robots to cause havoc, Hardcore are deployed to uh, handle the situation. It, over the course of the game, the team rounds up notorious criminals and uh, enemy leaders in across the city, and uh, eventually finding the enemy base and leader. Uh, facts. Fact number one: the Japanese version of the game is far easier than the North American version because the player can take three hits instead of one before dying, and has an unlimited amount of continues instead of just three. Uh, fact number two: there are total of five possible endings, including one hidden Colosseum ending. The way you find the Colosseum is, uh, I think it's on that third mission. There, you have to climb up instead of breaking through a door. I don't know exact placement because I didn't get that far. Um, fact number three. The PAL version of the game is majorly changed in the last two. Firstly, it's called Probot Tector. Yeah, Probot Tector. And uh, everybody's replaced with robot characters and a few alien characters here and there. Um, secondly, uh, they eliminated one of the endings because you couldn't side with like the alien general or something like that. And lastly, some of the cutscenes were, al were altered due to character redesigns or just some censorship. I don't know exactly why they were censored, but they were censored. Anyways, uh, fact number four. Several of the bosses in Contra Hardcore were inspired by the 1982 film The Thing, and one of the bosses was uh, inspired by Simon Belmont from Castlevania, which is the main protagonist in the game. Uh, fact number five, two missions from Hardcore appear in uh, Contra Advance, the Alien Wars EX, instead of the original Alien Wars uh, SNES missions. Review of the game, while I personally suck at uh, platform games, I like the idea of lots of explosions, bullets, and enemies. Uh, for those of you who do care about like platforming games, or, you know, these massively violent games, there is some sort of a story arc to the game, as I said with the plot point earlier. But uh, I, recognize pl I recommend playing this game with a partner, though. Uh, there's just too much to handle for a solo player. You get just overwhelmed everywhere, especially in the North American version where you die, like, really quickly. And I guess the PAL version you die really quickly, too, because it runs off the same uh, thing. Anyways, um, but with a partner, I would give this a 6. By yourself, solo, I would only give it a 4 out of 10. Uh, take it for what you will from a guy who hates platforming 2D games. I gave this a 6 with a partner, so it's not horrible. Uh, anyways, if you have any questions, comments, or just plain gibberish, put it in the comments section below and come back next week for more Throwback Thursday and Game Guardians Genesis. Thank you.